Hi there, this is Harry and welcome back to Advanced English Lessons with Harry where we try to help you to get a better understanding of your English, how you can improve your chances of a job, how you can improve your chances of being successful in those proficiency exams, everything that you need to help. And in this particular lesson, we're looking at collocations and in particular, we're looking at verbs and prepositions. Now, these are always a question that I get. Which preposition goes with which verb? When do I use it? So I'm going to go through some examples. I've got 18 of them. Okay, there's a lot, but they're important. So I'll give you 18 verbs, 18 prepositions, and 18 examples. Okay, so verb plus a preposition and an example. You'll have to practice them and read them and try them, and you won't remember them all, but do your best. And as always, any problems, you come back to me. Okay, and I'll do it slowly so that you can think of it and then get ready for the next one. Accuse of. He was accused of the crime. He was accused of shoplifting. He was accused of robbing the bank. He was accused of sending suggestive texts or emails. Okay, so to be accused of something and usually accused of a crime or accused of doing something he shouldn't or she shouldn't have done. Accused of. Number two, belong to. So here we can have something that belongs to somebody or belongs to something. He belongs to a really good football team. So the team have been very successful. Yeah, but you can't do it on your own. He belongs to a really good football team. This belongs to him. So whose jacket is this? Oh, it belongs to Michael. It belongs to Janet. Okay, they own it. It belongs to them. Hope for. This is usually followed by a noun. Hope for success. Hope for some interest. Hope for some money. Hope for a job. We hope for, yeah? I hope for a good mark in my exam. We hope for success for everybody who's taking the FCE exams. To hope for something, and it's usually followed by a noun. Then we have hope to, okay? I hope to go on and finish my career. So it's hope to plus the infinitive. I hope to go on. I hope to benefit from this. I hope to succeed in my exam. So always hope to plus the infinitive. I hope to do this. I hope to do that. I hope to go here. I hope to go there. I hope to be successful. Hope to infinitive be successful. To search for something. Search for something. I searched for my keys for an hour. I couldn't find them. Where were they? In my pocket. I searched for a present for his 30th birthday. I really wanted to get something special, but I couldn't find anything I wanted. At the end, I had to ask him, what did he want? I searched for something. I searched for a parking place in the city for ever. Yeah, there was no parking places. I don't know. There must have been something special on in the city to search for a parking place. Now, apologize. Apologize to somebody. I apologize to my wife for being late home for dinner. I apologize to everybody who wasn't able to listen in to the podcast because there was something wrong with it technically. To apologize to somebody for something. Okay, so now I apologize for the mistake. I apologize for the weather. Okay, I'm sorry we're going on a hike today, but look at the weather. It's terrible. But if you're happy to go, I'm happy to lead. I apologize for. So we can apologize to somebody and we can apologize for something. For forgetting something, I apologize for forgetting your birthday. I apologize for interrupting. 
Okay, so we apologize to somebody and apologize for something. And that's the, the real difference between those. Apologize to and apologize for. Blame for. I'm always blamed for everything that happens around here. Or so that's how I felt when I was a young boy. Who broke the window? Was that you? Blamed for leaving the door open. Who left the door open? The dog will get out. Blamed for. Who forgot to switch off the oven? Blamed for. Who didn't buy milk? Blamed for. So when you get blamed for something. Blamed for forgetting. Blamed for doing. Blamed for not doing. Blame for everything. I always get the blame around here for everything. Blame for. Object to. I object to that statement. I object to that remark. I object to being called that name. Yeah, we object to something. We don't like it. We object to the building of another block of apartments on the children's playground. We object to having to work late every week. We object to having to provide our email address and WhatsApp number so that our boss can contact us. Object to something. Specialize in. What does he specialize in? Or he specializes in criminal law, or he specializes in commercial law, or he specializes in cosmetic surgery. Somebody is very good at something, or indeed he is made out to be a specialist. He doesn't bother with other things. He focuses on only one area. What does he specialize in? He specializes in something. He specializes in family law. He specializes in dog training, in awareness or in mindfulness, whatever it might be. They specialize or he or she specializes in something. Preposition in, specialize in. To approve of. She doesn't approve of his friends. She doesn't approve of my girlfriend. She doesn't approve of his habits. She doesn't approve of him smoking. So always there in the negative to approve or here in the negative doesn't approve of. Yeah, so always that preposition of. Doesn't approve of my friends. Doesn't approve of my smoking. Doesn't approve of the job I got. Okay, it's approve of. Consist of. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful cake. What does it consist of? Meaning what it is made of. Oh, well, it's just typical. It's a, the flour, the egg, the water, but just a little special something that I put in to give it that little bit of zest, that little bit of extra taste to consist of. What does the new job consist of? Well, I think I really just have to do what I normally do, a bit of research, a bit of analysis, write a few papers, be there when they want to talk about it. It's really just number crunching to consist of. Pay for. Who's going to pay for the tickets? Who's going to pay for lunch? Who's going to pay for that mistake? Yeah, so you can use it positively or negatively. Oh, I think I'll have to pay for that mistake. The boss is going to be really, really mad at me. I'll pay for lunch. I got my bonus last week, so i am got a little bit of extra cash. I'll pay for lunch. Happy to do it. Pay for. Succeed in. Will he succeed in the application for the job? Will he succeed in getting what he wants? He's meeting his boss next week and he really wants to get that promotion or he wants to get the increase in salary. I wonder, will he succeed in his objectives, to succeed in, to be successful. He succeeded in annoying me. That's exactly what he did. He cried and whinged and moaned all night. Yeah, they succeeded in annoying me all night. To believe in something or somebody. He believes in God. He believes in himself. He believes in me. He knows I can do the job. He believes in hard work. He believes in dedication. 
He believes in training hard, working hard, living hard. What do you believe in? He believes in this. I believe in that. He's a believer in all things beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to believe in something, religion, to believe in somebody, himself, to believe in the business, to believe in the success of the team. Forgive for. Will you forgive me for forgetting your birthday? Will you ever forgive me for breaking your favorite vase? Will you ever forgive me for what I said? So, to forgive somebody for something. To forgive somebody for saying something. Yeah? I'll forgive you for that if you promise not to do it again. Famous words of parents. Of course I'll forgive you for that provided you try not to do it again. Forgive for. Remind somebody about something. Can I remind you about the meeting next week? Please don't forget it. A few people were late this week, so put it in your diaries. Be here at 10 o'clock. The meeting will start on time. So I would like to remind you all about the meeting next week. So remind somebody about something. I promise to remind you about your mother's birthday. You always forget it. You always get the date wrong. So remember, it's the 10th, not the 11th. Okay, so get the card, get the flowers, give her a call, but make sure you do it on the 10th, not the 11th. Why do I always have to remind you about the birthday? Yeah, I remind you about your mother's birthday. Don't forget it. Okay, to remind somebody about something. And then finally, to thank somebody for something. I'd like to thank you all for the work you did in making this such a success. I'd like to thank Jonathan for his years of service to the company he's leaving today and we wish him well on his retirement. I'd like to thank you for the beautiful present. I mean, I really, really didn't expect it. I know I've been talking about a holiday or a cruise, but I really, really didn't think you would go ahead and do it. So, wow, it's going to be really, really special. A great way to celebrate the anniversary, to thank somebody for something. Okay, so all of those first certificate English collocations help you to prepare for those proficiency exams, 18 and all. Try and practice them. Let me give them to you one more time. Accuse of, belong to something or to belong to somebody. Hope for, plus a noun. Hope to, plus the infinitive. Search for something. Apologize to somebody for doing something. Apologize for something you didn't do or something you did do. Blame for. Object to, specialize in, approve of something or don't approve of something, to consist of, pay for, succeed in, believe in, believe in something, believe in somebody, forgive somebody for something, remind somebody about something, and then finally, thank somebody for something. Okay, right. As I said, there's lots of them. We've got 18. They're really, really important to remember, particularly with the prepositions, which preposition goes with which particular verb. You'll find them very useful if you're preparing for those all-important FCE exams, but also equally when you're writing, uh, when you're speaking, to get the right verb, right preposition, good combination. And I've given you some examples. Hopefully you'll understand those. If you need more, as always, come back. Thank you for listening. Thanks for joining me. As always, join me again soon.